Well, in this week's video, it's going to be short and sweet. We're going to wrap up our injection chamber. And we have one little small item left to machine, and that is this thermal couple mount for the nozzle. Now, this particular design has a thermal couple here for one PID, and then we have another one down at the nozzle for a secondary PID. And this is to give optimum temperatures uh, when uh, injecting parts. It's just a simple ring. There's not really much to it. I'll probably just manually machine this. We've got a one inch uh, bore here and inch and three quarter diameter. And we've just got an M6 thread here for our thermal couple mount. So I'm gonna go out to the shop, machine this part out, and then we'll finish up the uh, injection chamber and we'll start doing some assembly on this particular piece as well as some assembly on the rest of the machine. All right, so let's get out into the shop. Hey guys, all right, well you can see I've been doing some assembly. We've got our bottom plate, our threaded rod assembled. We've got our uh, top plate on with our air cylinder. I've got my air valve mounted here in the back. We've got our piston here and it's mounted. Uh, I'll go over that uh, here shortly. Uh, this was not on video so we'll talk about that. And then we have our uh, injection assembly here, our chamber. So we've got our aluminum chamber here with our stainless steel tube going through it. We've got a band heater down here. We've got this little piece here that just is to mount our thermal couple to. Of course our nozzle down here at the bottom. We've got it mounted to our mount here. We've got our in, uh, heater tubes. We've got dual heater tubes on the main chamber here. Uh, and then this is the wiring for the uh, band heater. Uh, you can see how that's going to come down into there. Oh, there we go. Alright. Now this is a coupling that I made. This is just uh, some of the same stainless steel tube. I cut an uh, inch and a quarter off. Welded a nut on it to fit onto the air cylinder. Uh, then we just have a piece of three quarter stainless steel rod. And I just bored a hole through here and stuck a cotter pin in. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to have to give a little bit more distance here when I start a machine, uh, start injecting. But we can adjust that later. The nice thing about this is easily easily adjusted with these lock nuts. Just take a measurement on the corners there, and uh, get it to the right height. Um, I'm about three and a quarter inches up from the bo bottom here, so I know I'm probably going to have to come down there a little bit before I start uh, actually doing some injection. But as the cylinder comes down, it will push down on this. As you can see, I've got some pieces under here. This is some insul insulator here to keep it uh, just so it won't be banging. But it also, hopefully, it might keep the heat off the rest of the machine here. Uh, we'll have to see. Got our funnel on here. So yeah, I mean, uh, it's looking pretty good overall. Uh, this thing is tall. Yeah, the whole thing here is about 38 inches tall. Next, we're going to work on a piece that uh, I didn't draw up originally because I didn't know quite sure how I was going to mount it, but we're going to work on a piece that will mount here, and this will um, connect to our air valve here, and it will also mount our feed tube into the funnel. So stay tuned for that video. Moving along pretty good. I know for you guys it's been several months. I have to keep stopping and starting on this uh, build because I have other things going on. So that's just the way it goes. Um, in the next video, uh, like I said, we're going to start working on some 3D printed pieces. And one of them is going to be the air valve mount. Uh, then we've got our electronics enclosure here. And we're going to 
uh, be 3D printing some pieces for our uh, feed tube metering device. Well, guys, I guess that wraps up the for this video. Uh, stay tuned. In the next video, we'll start doing some of those 3D printed pieces. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. Also, click on that notification bell. That way, when I post a video like this one, if it's something you're interested in, they'll send you a link and you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.